Hello there. Once again, this is Anton here from Antonimo Bay. Um, we're going to take a quick look at some comic books that are based on cartoon series or TV shows that you may not have known they made comics about. Our special guest action figures today are Starscream and Trigger Happy. Our first comic that we have here is Visionaries issue 5 and Shogun Warriors number 12. Never did watch Shogun Warriors. I do remember Visionaries, but that's what we got. I got an issue of Battlestar Galactica. I think most people know that they made cartoon or uh, comics about that though. Crystar, Crystal Warrior. That was a short-lived show that I don't I you know, actually I don't remember it, but I see that this also has Alpha Flight in it, and that excites me. We have the Ren and Stimpy Show number seven. Ren and Stimpy Show number nine. Not the I don't know, I was never crazy about the comics. I always loved the show. Uh, we got Street Sharks number one. That's pretty awesome. Pirates of Dark Water number one. I absolutely love that. Skeleton Warriors number one. Brilliant. Skeleton Warriors number two. Mighty Mouse. Does anybody remember watching Mighty Mouse regularly? Uh, we got Ren and Stimpy Show number one. And we have another Ren and Stimpy Show number one. And this is funny because it says, Open the bag, secret message on cover. And what the secret message is, You idiot, you have opened the bag, now the comic is worthless. And I have two copies and I actually opened one to find out what it said. I thought, it was, I thought that was funny. They got me. They got me all these years later. They got me. Ren and Stimpy Show number 11. Number 12. Number four, let's see here, got another issue of Crystar, number one, didn't realize I had quite so much Ren and Stimpy show. We have Ren and Stimpy number 10, Sectars number two, that was a great series. Ren and Stimpy show number five, Cadet Stimpy. Ooh, Ren and Stimpy show. With number six, it's with Spider-Man vs. Powder Toast Man. Um, I don't know if you guys remember a cartoon called Cops. Um, that was actually a great cartoon. They made quite a few issues of it. I think it ran for, I want to say like 12 issues, like a year. Pretty good stuff. Strangely, I have an old uh, WCW issue, number one. Air Raiders, number two. I used to have these toys. They were they were very small. Great, great, great toy line. Um, I got Silver Hawks, number one. Robocop, 22. This is more based on the uh, on the cartoon show than the, than the movies. There was a cartoon show. Visionaries, number one. ALF, number one. Photo cover. How awesome is that? That's awesome. That is awesome right there. Look it up in the dictionary. That's what it looks like. We got cops number five. Cops number four. I used to love cops. They actually had a great action figure line that was made by Hasbro. And they were, gosh, they were just like a little bit bigger G.I. Joe. Like a like a five or six inch scale G.I. Joe. With the same articulation. There's cops number two. Air Raiders number one, Strawberry Shortcake number four. All right, now here's where it gets a little, a little weird. I don't know if you guys know they made these. They made Married with Children comic books. Number five, Married with Children number seven. Ooh, here you go. Rescue Rangers number two. Love that. Loved that show growing up. Married with Children number four. Married with Children number two. This just looks so weird to see them like, part of the covers were photo, part of them were animated. What was going on? There's Married with Children. That's Buck's Tale number one. 
And regular Married with Children number one, Kelly Bundy special. Who can't love that? Christina Applegate. What's better than that? All right, well, that's pretty much all of them I got. I don't know if you guys knew about those or not. I didn't till recently, but there they are. And now you guys know that's my story, and we'll catch you later. Bye.